Good morning, my lovelies. <laughs> so, as you saw yesterday, we went to Windsor, Paul and I. We went early in the morning, we had breakfast there, and then just looked around shops. I didn't really buy anything. I bought another pair of leggings from Sweaty Betty Gym Leggings. I've just had a shower, done my makeup, and I'm just doing my hair. I'm having my hair done tomorrow, can't wait. I know it doesn't look too bad when it's nice and clean but um yeah my roots are awful so i'm having it done tomorrow can't wait and i'm gonna have about that much chopped off because the longer it gets the thinner it gets on the end so i need the trim uh yeah so didn't buy anything really but it was nice you know then we sat down and had a coffee it was really nice um, but I've I've bought some um, three more things in Zara, so I show you those. I'm quite happy with them, although a couple of them will need slight alteration. You know what it's like with the sizes. The good thing is when you I don't know if you've ever noticed when you're shopping on Zara and you look at the sizes, right below you if the garment is larger than usual or smaller than usual they will write that down so then i know to order size down or size up so a couple of these things i think are in size large because they said they were they came up small and one is medium and um, so i will see if i can somehow show you here with this camera uh, but yeah i'm quite happy with these things because if you go you know it's nice to actually go to a physical store try things on you don't have to worry about returning stuff but honestly um when i went to zara in windsor have not have most of the things that you see online are not in store so it's almost pointless going to a store. You might find one thing or, but all the things that I see online are never in store. The same with Moon Velvet. I went to Moon Velvet because the, there is a couple of things online that I saw that I quite like, but I thought I would like to see it maybe first in person. Went into that store, didn't have what I wanted to see. So almost like they want you to just shop online uh, by the way this um, thin very thin knitwear is from Zara I have them in all sorts of different colors I don't know if this one is still available but um, they do them every year uh, in different colors so I will just leave you a link because they probably have like five of, or six different colors so I leave you a link to those okay I'm gonna finish my hair I think I'm just going to put it up because I really can't do much with it anymore um, and I see if I can show you the stuff I bought okay <laughs> so I hope you don't see my bottom bit because I'm not wearing anything <laughs> I've just got the top on and knickers <laughs> right so this is a linen dress and as you can see it's sort of denim color it's so lovely it has that sheared bit here and a zip and also you can um, decide how long you want the straps it has a button but to be honest i don't know what for because i feel like these straps are already too long even though they are on the last hole and that's what i might have to have um altered otherwise i don't know who would want long straps like this unless your boobs are I don't know on your waist so this one was one of the things that said that it was coming up very small so this one is I'm sure in large yeah this one is in large so let me put that on okay can you see these are too long I need it a bit higher so I will need to have them altered but it's such a lovely dress it has pockets I hope you can hear me because I'm on my vlogging camera so um, yeah it's a, such a lovely comfortable dress I it sort of sticks out here doesn't it 
you could wear normal bra with this but um, I have a strapless bra on you can wear normal bra because of the straps but my normal bra comes up a bit higher here so I was sticking out so I don't know I have to and it seems a bit loose on one side I never noticed that at first when I first tried it on but I can have that altered I really really like this dress and we all love pockets in our dresses yes I will need to have the straps shortened and maybe just a couple of darts here on the side but I, I would never get in a smaller one so right let me show you the next thing oh look what i just did i did the straps crisscross at the back and that way it fits better here but this is too big now so this dress should be like half a size smaller for me really to fit me perfectly but obviously that's impossible unless you have something made to measure so this is the Albare top. Remember when I showed showed it to you in my haul? It was too big. I got the size UK 10 and it fits perfectly. And look at these linen trousers that I got from Zara as well. I hope you can see them well. This is the shape that I look good in, I think. I have to have something that is fitted around my hips and then you can go white not like the blue linen ones that i had from reese and also no pockets side pockets i know these ones have like two pockets flat pockets here but that's fine but whenever you get like big side pockets that's when it doesn't work you can see the They are quite high-waisted um, and these are in medium so go with your own size with these. The color is like a very very light khaki. I absolutely love these and now let me show you another pair. So you know I was a bit obsessed with that blue pair from Reese so I got a blue pair of trousers from Zara they are not linen but I, t I think they are much nicer shape but again they I had to get them in large because he said that they came up smaller than usual but they are too huge in my waist they fit me in my hips so I will have to have the waist altered so look at the waist on them the waist is really big so I will have to have that altered but they are just right on my hips and they are slightly I think they call them wide but I think they are more of a slight boot cut but they are so huge in my waist but if I have them altered like this I think they will look perfect and it's a gorgeous blue color so I really like those too. I can pull them down a bit but they're still too big. You see even with those they slightly stick out on my hips. Oh, I Maybe I should go and have my hips shaved off. <laughs> In fact um, maybe they're supposed to have big um, waist like this because the model when you see it on on their website they look really loose and like hang really low on her belly but obviously i'm not going to be wearing them like this oh i'm already really hot from doing this i thought i'd show you what i'm wearing today i have to go out today and then later i have um louis vet appointment so i've already told you about this thin knitwear from it's not tucked very well I will work on that uh, from Zara and I have these really comfortable white black trousers I bought them last year from uh, Mint Velvet and the chunky trainers are from Mint Velvet as well I think they still actually sell these and I'm going to wear a black blazer as well so hold on and I'm going to wear this black blazer it's got ruched sleeves um, this is from 
um, H&M it's quite thin I have a beige one like this as well so this is what I'm wearing today I feel like it looks nice trendy and stylish but it's really comfy right I will see you later hello my lovelies I don't know if you can see me it looks very dark in this camera I'm going to the gym and I just wanted to tell you how Louis got on yesterday at the vet he's fine he was fat shamed though um, she said he's too fat he should lose at least two kilos I don't know how that is possible he only eats once a day he gets few treats in a day but I will try because I know it's not good for them the two lamps that I found on him she said um, I'm convinced they are you know those uh, lipomas fatty lamps but she said just keep an eye on them if they get any bigger then we can check him again his heart is fine but he needs dental he needs his teeth clean the, the ones at the very back have a lot of tar on them so I'm going to uh, book him in for his teeth cleaning it cost me like 100 pounds yesterday uh, because they also um, did his glands and and they trimmed two of his dew claws at the back because they are so curled up they were almost growing into his pad and I know my uh, groomer trims them a bit but I suppose the problem is his, his, most of his nails are black so you can't see where the quick is so I think she's very careful because obviously she's not not a vet she doesn't want to uh, cut his quick so they did that as well and they just have sent me estimate for his teeth cleaning is 299 pounds so before you get a dog remember they are almost as expensive as your children or maybe not we do have insurance but I, um, I don't think insurance covers teeth cleaning so yes I have to book him in for that I really don't like doing it because you know you have to leave him there they do it at the general anesthetic so he will be there like most of the day and I hate doing that but what else can I do Apart from that, I'm very excited because tonight, this afternoon, early evening, I'm having my roots done, come wait, and I'm going to chop off about that much of my hair because it's very thin and just needs a good trim. Right, my lovelies, I will see you maybe tomorrow. Hello, my lovelies. So, I've had my hair done and look how short it is it feels so much thicker when it's that short um i can't say i like i like my hair short i like it long but i know i can't have it long because it gets really thin and this is just uh, not even a hairstyle i keep thinking to have my inverted bob but i know i won't like it because when you have a specific hairstyle like this for it to look good you have to really style it every day and i don't want to be doing that with this i can still put my hair up anyway i'm still not feeling well honestly i don't know what to do it makes me feel ill just thinking about trying to call a doctor but i will do it today when you call you like 40th in a queue on the phone honestly it's it's just ridiculous i might ask them to refer me to gastrointestinal specialist whatever they are i think i need some tests you know god knows what's going on in there but you know i feel keep feeling sick i feel bloated just feel so awful some days are better than others but on a whole i can't remember when last time i had a week that i just felt great for a week it's one day here and there there is nothing worse than feeling ill 
I got up today thinking I do housework. I was going to do all my laundry because yesterday was nice and sunny, but today's miserable, so I can't still hang my washing out. It's still cold. I'm not happy right now. Not today anyway. Right, I'm gonna go and get on with my stuff. Hello, my lovelies. I've just filmed this look. You will see it on Wednesday. But I've got something to report to you. Life update, you know, you're probably sick of it. You're probably sick of me being sick. So, you know this has been going on for ages. I had the ovarian cancer eliminated. Not eliminated, I didn't have it. I had it investigated, um, thank God. So, um, I thought, right, so what's my next port of call? It would be some sort of gastro doctor. It's a very difficult name to say, gastroenterologist, I think that's the name. So, I thought, okay, I call my GP again, see if I can get an a appointment with her first, if maybe they will do me endoscopy, colonoscopy, I don't know. See if I've got helicobacter, if I have SIBO. So I called my doctor the other day and I was 43rd in a queue on a phone, which would mean I would be probably on it for about two hours because I've been before like 12th of something and I waited 45 minutes. So, uh, when you call the GP number, it gives you a few options. And there is an option for referral letters, but it's for existing ones. So basically that takes you into the, that takes you through to the secretaries of GPs. So I just press that option because whenever I press this option, I'm always first in a queue. Even though I was first in a queue, I still waited 10 minutes on the phone. And I asked them, um, I told them all the symptoms so they can relay that back to the GP. GP already knows about it. And I asked if I could be referred to a specialist. So I cried on the phone as well because it was a particular bad day. I had such stomach pain, not stomach, like up here, belly, and I felt sick. So I broke down and cried on the phone. I was so fed up. Uh, so yeah, she said someone will review this. Oh yeah, I had to go then online on some portal, fill my symptoms in and blah, blah, send that. And then she said that doctor will respond to it within 48 hours, I think, or he will call me back or I will get, an, get a text with referral letter. So, the day after that, I got a referral letter. Went to open the referral letter, couldn't open it. The file was corrupt. So I had to call them back again today and say, could you please resend this letter? I can open it. So they did that. And then I had to phone my private insurance company, spend another 25 minutes explaining everything to them. And I've got an appointment for next week. So, I'm just glad that I'm getting it investigated because I just don't know what else to do. And I just feel so miserable most of the time. I know I might um, come across, you know, all happy and fun on the camera because I put a, you know, special face for it. But most of the time I don't even feel like turning the camera on because I'm not feeling well. I'm feeling quite nauseous right now. So hopefully they will find what's wrong with me because this has been going on now since last September, probably before that, but that's when I first saw the GP last September for this, for this problem. And it seemed to be getting actually worse. It's almost like I get those flare ups and they last for ages, so I don't know. Anyway, sorry that I keep moaning about it, but I suppose my vlogs are about my life. 
So, oh, the funny thing is, I had a comment under one of my vlogs. I think it might have been someone that have, haven't been watching me for a long time. And this person said, I think it was a woman, that I have got such a sad life and I must be so lonely that I just talk to myself, to the camera. <laughs> And I thought, hmm, this person probably doesn't understand the concept of vlogging. <laughs> um, I didn't even respond, what's the point? Um, I just feel like we have this nice community. Um, I don't know, there's probably about 10,000 of you that watch my vlogs. And it's just me sharing my life with you. We talk about the things that we're going through, you know, like the menopause, illnesses, <laughs> which start happening in our life. And you tell me you enjoy them. You know, I don't always feel like vlogging, especially when I not, I'm not feeling well. But I know that this is something you enjoy, so I will carry on for now. But yes, I have been thinking few times that maybe I should stop doing these vlogs you know sometimes when you do give away too much of yourself that's not too good because then people judge you especially people that haven't been here for a long time or saw a few videos of me 10 years ago then suddenly popped in here and have loads to say so I don't know you can't win so the Skin Iceland Dissolving Microneedle Patches. You know, I've been going on about them for months. I actually have a video, I will link it here, when I talk about my under eye skincare, what I do, because you know, I'm prone to uh, getting puffy there. Sometimes my skin looks really loose and deflated. So all the things that I use to keep keep on top of it and I don't know I I don't think it was me but you can't get this anywhere in the UK now I I haven't been able to get it for I don't know a couple of months now I used to get it on Amazon I could get it on Sephora UK I could get it on other makeup sites it's sold out everywhere so I found it on Amazon US and they do ship here. I probably paid a bit more because of the shipping, but the shipping is not too much with Amazon. So I've ordered, you get five in here, I think. I've already used one last night. Yeah, you get five. Um, and you obviously will be waiting a bit longer than if you ordered it on Amazon UK, but I will give you the link to it if you're interested. I hope they will bring them back here. I don't know if they just experiencing shortage of it, but I was so upset. So um, I have to, I think I'm going to change Louis vet. I told you about his estimate for his teeth cleaning. And did I tell you I found out when I was there why I can't get appointment quickly with them and I think that's the reason why they don't like me if I have just an appointment with a nurse. You know when they tell me oh we will just take him at the back. I think because they don't have enough rooms because what happened this particular vet is almost like a bigger company and they had three other surgeries around the area but she told me, the vet told me that they've closed them down now. So basically my surgery, my vet surgery is serving all the other three as well. So imagine all the clients from the other three now coming to that one. That's why it's so difficult. So I think I'm going to move Louis, but I want to go there first. I want to talk to the practice manager, see how they operate, you know, because I don't want to move him and then they will tell me, yes, we don't want you to ever come in with him. I want to find out, call me neurotic. Yes, I am neurotic. I treat this dog like a human being, basically, like my child, like my baby. So can't help it. That's the way I am. Those vets are probably sick of me but I can't help it. Oh, by the way, I am wearing a wig. I've just had my hair done, but um, 
it wasn't looking too good this morning and I couldn't be bothered to to wash my hair I had a shower last night but only like you know neck down <laughs> I don't always wash my hair in a shower and I really didn't feel well enough to wash my hair do my hair it would take me like I an extra hour before I could sit down and film the video so this is the Raquel Welch wavy day I absolutely love this wig in shaded biscuit I've just pinned it like this because it was just better for me while I was doing my eye makeup and this you will love love this top this is old it's probably two years old now this was from mint velvet you know i love mint velvet it's a very thin knit uh with just like stars and i really like it too so i wish i bought two i often do it if there is something that i really really love i buy two of but I don't think at the beginning when I first bought it, I loved it that much. Yeah, I really liked it. But the more I worn it and I thought it goes with so many things that I have in my wardrobe that I wish now that I bought another one because, but this one still looks good. It hasn't really bubbled much. It washes pretty well. So hopefully I will get another winter out of it. Maybe two, you never know. It's funny, isn't it? That's why I've, I've always told you, I, I try. I'm not always succeeding, but I try to live by this rule. Unless you really, really love something and you feel amazing in it, don't buy it. It doesn't always work out, <laughs> as you know, but I try. And that's why you will sometimes see things that I'm wearing. I mean, I have things that are probably like six, seven years old and I still love them. And if I only kept the things that I love so much and had for so many years, my wardrobe would be that small. Because there are things that I love as soon as I try them on. I think, yes, yes, that looks great. And then as the time goes on, I think, mm, really, it doesn't go with anything or doesn't look that good with what I already have. Mm, this is a bit annoying. So I really, really need to try harder. Remember, I've bought this new microphone for my camera. I haven't even had the desire to try it. I really should try it because I think you get much nicer sound when you're talking to a mic that is close to you instead the one that is on the top of my camera the only thing is i have to have this it's quite big well not big clipped in here and that just looks horrible i mean i can actually i've got a little lapel mic that i can clip on and connect it to that and have that clipped in somewhere else and then i think such a polava. I will try and I see if the sound makes real difference. I do like watching videos that have very good sound, uh, sort of almost like a studio TV type of sound. It just, I don't know, it's just much nicer uh, to listen to. You can always tell when I'm on my vlogging camera because that camera has just built-in mic and these are the worst it's quite tinny and harsh sound then you've got the mics that are sitting on the top of the camera but like i said then the problem is when i'm doing for example makeup tutorial because the lens keeps zooming in and out it's got automatic zoom and because microphone is just above that lens it will pick up the sound the clicking sound of the lens zooming in and out so if i had the mic here you would just you don't also get all the background noises so i need to do it i might have a look at it today you probably don't care <laughs> what microphone i use but i do i like the hairy cut that they give you as well for when you film outside is that called a cat Math. <laughs> it's a math. Yeah, so imagine if I had that. 
like I've got a dead mouse clipped in to, to me. Anyway, why would you care about that? <laughs> Sorry about this misery. <laughs> I'm sure you come here for some light entertainment. Uh, I'm sure you all have your own problems and don't want to hear someone else's. But, you know, that's my life. Okay, my lovelies, I think I will finish this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.